Hmm. This is getting really tougher and um, things are happening in a different way than uh, we saw earlier because right here, uh, you know, Governor Obaseki actually, you know, he has relegated uh, Oki. Yes, remember that the uh, Edo State House of Assembly Speaker has been impeached. And, you know, somehow I was like, okay, why would they impeach this guy? Because I've not really seen exactly what he did that uh, would make them really impeach him just like that. But, of course, perhaps there are some underground things that are going on that we cannot just say or even talk about that for why he's uh, being impeached. But, well, it is all politics. And I'm very sure he himself also understands all of this that are going on. Because I could remember I told you that, uh, you know, they said uh, because uh, he's impeached because of his high-handedness uh, or high-headedness and all of that. But really, I don't see how that could uh, be enough reason for him to be impeached. But, well, they have their own reasons. Like I would say, all these are all politics. And, uh, you know, even up to the moment, we still did not hear anything from the governor of the state about his impeachment. Remember that uh, even Frank Okie also with nine others, seven others also, you know, they uh, defected to the, up, to the People's Democratic Party. And, you know, after that, he has, you know, he has been having issues. That is one of the issue of him being impeached from being the Edo State House of Assembly Speaker. And remember, he has been replaced with Honor Boom. And remember also that Honor Boom has actually be, been officially inaugurated as the Speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly as we speak. Well, let us see why uh, Governor Baseke relegates uh, Oki and uh, what would have caused this, what would have brought all about this. Well, my opinion, but I hope you stay tuned and listen. But uh, before then, if you have not subscribed, please ensure that you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell because that is the only and the best way you get notified anytime we drop a new video. All right, guys, let us see what is going on right here. The man behind the, behind the iron mask, drama and intrigues as Obaseki relegates Okiye. The much anticipated Edo State governorship election has finally been over with Obaseki emerging as the undisputed champion. In less than 21 days after the election, so many games are playing out, which would lead up closer in unraveling the man behind the iron mask. Spontaneous events are set to occur within the next couple of weeks and months and would ultimately change the face of politics in Edo State. Now, against all odds, Obaseki was re-elected under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and so many fusions cropped up in making Obaseki fly the party's ticket and eventually emerging as the elected governor of Edo State for the next four years. By default, Obaseki defecting to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, at the, eye, at the eve of the elections and getting re-elected is a one-way ticket in politics. It only means there is no time to settle down and the time to act is now. The earlier Obaseki stamps his authority on the party, the better for everyone's sake. Obaseki did not leave the APC with any structure other than his appointees and local government officials like local government chairmen and the others. So herein lies the problem. Obaseki has less than four years to take charge of the structure of the People's Democratic Party up to the national level. Obaseki, one way or the other, sold the PDP to the populace on which platform he came re-elected, accepted it, accept it or not, Obaseki now calls the shot. In other words, Obaseki is PDP and PDP has no choice than to be Obaseki. So each structure that made it possible for Obaseki to get re-elected must start their fight for relevance. Unfortunately, the first casualty to fall victim is Right Honorable Frank Okie, the recently impeached factional speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly. As at the time of making this report, it is still very hazy why Obaseki relegated Okie, but in a subsequent uh, report, we would unveil the real reason behind the unfortunate breakdown 
of relationship between the estuar speaker and the governor, Godwin Obas Eke. Okie before now was referred to as the midnight speaker after allegedly going to inaugurate the House of Assembly members from a pepper soup joint at night. There is currently a scare in the PDP which ultimately would lead to further realignment and relegation of forces. The two major components threatening the soul of the party right now is envisage forthcoming local government elections across the 18 local government area in the state and the alleged power tussle between Chief Dan Obi and the Deputy Governor Philip Shaibo. Already the old PDP has hijacked the party structure of PDP. Hmm. Using the world, hijack might be in inappropriate and, and a slight on the old members of PDP as Obaseki came with his aides into the PDP, although the PDP was comatose prior now. Now a circular is already making the rounds on social media warning all the present local government chairman to jettison the idea of an automatic ticket. They made it clear that 4 plus 4 is strictly over now, Ogbane. We shall bring you a further breakdown of the bitter feud between the new PDP and the old PDP in a subsequent report. Now, Chief Dan Obi is the face of the PDP in Edo State and the South-South National Vice Chairman of the party. He hails from Edo North, which is the same constituent with the Deputy Governor, Philip Shaibu. Rumors are making the round that Obaseki may have to choose between the door of Chief Dan Obi or Philip Shaibu. Dan Obi has the key to PDP in his palms. A lot of drama and intrigues are currently playing out in Edo PDP and only time would reveal the turnout of events. So my people, you can see that things are beginning to change and of course as a wise man definitely when you get into a position you have to surround yourself with people that celebrate you and people that can hold your hands up high because if you are surrounded by people who are pretenders you are likely going to fall because they can be compromised by any other party and they will use that against you so it would be wise really for baseki to actually uh, you know have people that are loyal to him more than people that are loyal to the party if you ask me yes remember that the local government chairman is about to start and now rumors are making rounds that this time around they don't want to return a lot of those guys that have been there because some of them are already shouting 4 plus 4. But he is saying this is not about 4 plus 4. There is more to this. Because definitely he has his own league of people. That he would like to you know, be in those positions. Which is wise and diplomatic of him. But well guys you have uh, more details about this. Please drop your comments. And also give this video a thumbs up. We would like to hear from you. Do have a pleasant time. Bye.